guys welcome back in this lecture we will see how we can use the switch widget let me show you what i mean by switch widget so this is the um, bootstrap and this is the switch widget sometime um, so when generally we use the switch widget uh, i generally ask this question during my live classes but this is the uh, recorded video right so i cannot interact with you Generally, I ask questions whenever I teach any 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 uh, anything new, so that uh, I just evaluate my students whether what they know about the particular functionality. So this switch generally we use to uh, uh, set the status. Um, let me give a simple example. We have a user management screen, and in user management, we want to activate or deactivate the user. So we generally use the switch. So by default, when we see the list in the list, uh, this switch will be checked in, 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 like this, the blue, in, in, in this whole blue form. It means the user is active. When we click here, it will go to the inactivate mode. And behind the screen, we will just set the uh, uh, false value associated to the is active variable or uh, what, in whatever way we need to handle that. But in, in short, we... Now we can set the status using the this particular switch widget so if we have to design the switch in the out uh, in the html this is the way it is a checkbox only it is the checkbox only but we have a proper um, uh, a different uh, class and the different division associated to that this is this is a way to design the switch in bootstrap in css right when we are using the bootstrap but in out system, we have different way. Let's see the out system and let's focus the out system way. So I have created the application module screen, everything for you. Uh, you know how we can create, I believe. If you don't know, you can just uh, pause this video or just close this video and go back to the previous video and understand uh, how we reach to this state. Right? Now, let me talk about the switch widget. So if I search switch, we have a switch widget available let me drag and drop let's see the properties switch widget will require a variable this will be a boolean you see the, you see uh, let's just let me hover again boolean this will be a boolean type of variable by default uh, whatever value will be uh, this variable will be holding it will behave as per the value if the if the boolean variable will be holding true it will be checked this this uh, switch will be on if the value of the variable uh, will be false then the uh, behavior of this switch will be off right so this is the variable and when we'll perform any action will on or off associated value will be assigned to the variable whatever we are defining here enable if it is enable enable true then it will be available for user to perform action on ui if it enable value is false user will be able to see the switch on the ui but will not be able to perform any action style class is style we can perform we can provide any style class attribute you know very well on change event uh, on performing any change if you want to handle that event then we can we can handle by just handling this particular event we'll do that we'll see what is the current value of this particular switch variable um you know, while performing any action so let me just create a variable first i will just give a name switch variable it will be a boolean type of variable so let me click here and let me just set the variable switch variable and i will just handle the event and i will just show the value of the variable right so let me just uh, show the variable and by default let me make it true it is exactly same as checkbox right and if you remember when we uh, have seen the checkbox example by default value what was false so that by default the checkbox was unselected this time we'll default we'll set the default value as true so ideally it should be selected by default let's have a look okay let me open that okay that's it you see it is checked because the default value of the variable which is associated to this switch is if i make it false you see we have false value 
true false true false this is how we can use the switch whatever value will be um, so it will associate the uh, uh, appropriate value with the variable and then we can check the variable value and perform the operation according accordingly as per our requirement so that's it guys this was just a simple example how we can use this switch widget thanks for watching